Second employment was set up in 1989, and it was set up between uh, Southwark Council and the local health authority. When lots of out of borough provision, so kind of residential homes closed down, and there was an influx then of the population with learning disabilities back into Southwark, uh, and they set, set it up together because they wanted to have a, a menu of activities for people to do, one of which they felt was important to be work. I was lucky to find to come employment and I was lucky as well to get this job because I have a great boss, I have my colleague has really helped to talk. when I start yeah, they really helped me to you know to keep up with the job to yeah to easily get into it. Yeah. We teach the client how to do the role, but at the same time we're teaching the employer how to best support the client. During the referral process and working with people, you get a sense of how much support a client will need and we will then supply that on the job support. It was very difficult to have a job, like I applied for some job and when, when I came to the interview, yeah, it was very difficult yeah, because the communication skills, yeah, the I didn't uh, the CV, my CV, the way I write CV. He was facing English is not his language and communication. He had some few difficulties. And For us to see someone that is been labeled out there by society and come here and able to make a coffee, and able to serve customer, and able to um, to give um, artistic point of view, or and able to have a proper debate with customer. For us, it's a, it's a joy satisfaction. These young people, from a katakata perspective, we don't see them people that have problems. We just need to be patient and try to link up or understand what they're trying to do and be as patient as you can. It's very, very important to make an impact in the community that you live. And that's what Tukan brings to me. The young person in Katakata, he liked cooking and the place was actually really good for him. He went to do a placement, he did the training and after that the training, the owner was very satisfied with him and he was now, he paid staff. My name is Chris Nye, welcome to 7 Customs, doing price checks. To begin, I was, um, Sorting out the hangers and hanging up clothes. Even um, checking some of the DVDs and CDs. I was um, doing that for a while before I went on to the till. So first of all, what we do when I call the referral, we do something so an action plan. So I want to see because each of them has individual needs. So you need to look at what they want short-term goal and the long-term goal. Chris is very good at uh, people and he wanted something local. He doesn't live far from here, he's like five minutes away from here. So I'm trying to actually look in terms of the location and in terms of exactly what he likes to do. And this was the best match. Uh, the manager is very pleased with him. The mom called me all the time saying to me that she's very pleased with the job he's doing. So it's not just about putting somebody in, in any job, but actually meeting the client's needs and also the employers need. Really pleased to have you, Chris. We all, we are all, he's friendly with all the volunteers, he's good with customers, he's really good on the till. When he makes a mistake, he comes and asks me. He tries to tidy up the shop floor, yeah, and always on time. It would have been either finances or even my, uh, behavior um uh, demeanor that's the word maybe um i have appeared a little more able uh, than i am a year ago he could actually he didn't have any time management skills he never worked before but now today i'm he work in the till the manager is very pleased with him since working with Tukan, I've realized that this is the right place for me to be because it's a group who actually really, really has been uh, uh, discriminated in terms of on the work employment market and they're actually very good. 
once they've been given the opportunity, they can actually do very well. All the major supermarkets, we work with the Houses of Parliament, um, we work with some London hotels and museums, um, and also we work with kind of lots of small and micro uh, employers. We've got lots of people who were told they would never work, who worked happily for many years. People don't always kind of know how to, what they mean and, and how, how to best support people. But I think, I think there's a lot of organisations that are more open to accepting help. You know, they, they want to diversify their workforce, but they don't always know how to best do it.